个特殊的形式，是有政策的，它是也是有阶段性。那现在我们的孩子去了美国，我们是我们是很可能去美国，我们是很喜欢去美国，美国政策。Is in the capability of China and what is the need. My my your, your deepest memory. Deepest memory. The friendliness of the Chinese people. I worked together to. Uh, I did an, uh, serve an apprenticeship as a um, mechanic, and I was working with Chinese workmen, and we were great friends. And. As I said in my speech, there was no anti-Semitism. It was a very harmonious relationship. It was wonderful. Uh, it saved our lives. What kind of what kind of work did you do in Shanghai? Well, I went to school. I was uh, um, eleven, uh, between eleven and nineteen years old. I first of all went to school. Um, and then um, I went into a technical school, the art school, as I mentioned. And um, then I uh, served an apprenticeship in a small workshop, uh, which was owned by a Jewish refugee and uh, employed um, a Chinese foreman and three other Chinese uh, engineers. Well, yes, unfortunately, a lot of people have died. Um, I'm 87, and uh, whilst there were some people that were born in Shanghai, they're much younger, and you, you've got them in the exhibition too. Uh, they're in their 70s. Uh, but the older ones have um, died out, unfortunately. Sure, we had some good friends, and. Uh, uh, they are lifelong friends, and we had a number of uh, Shanghai Jewish refugee reunions. Two in Shanghai, in Philadelphia, in New York, San Francisco. Um, so people have uh, come together and kept in touch with each other. And there's still a bulletin being published in Israel, Yigut. Um, which is a bulletin published half yearly of Chinese uh, people that were born or lived in China, uh, mostly Russians um, and others. And that, is, that magazine is still being published and distributed uh, worldwide to the survivors of the Shanghai lenders or Shan China hens, whatever you might want to call them. When was your last time that you visited Shanghai? Last time was in 2006. And you will see that in Art Shanghai, I was interviewed with my sister. We went with my sister, my wife, uh, two of our daughters to Shanghai, to that reunion. And we were interviewed by a Shanghai television station and some of these clips are shown in Ark Shanghai, the film that will be shown here on the 13th of uh, July. Shanghai changed a lot, right? Eh? Shanghai have changed a lot. Oh, tremendous. The first time I went back to Shanghai was in 1974. This was very early. I got special permission. At the time, I was an um, Australian government official, and we uh, we went to Beijing for a trade exhibition. We took some 300 Australian businessmen to Beijing, and I got special permission to go for one weekend from Beijing to Shanghai. And that was wonderful, to go back and see everything and how things have changed. 
the conditions you wouldn't know the conditions in my time for the Chinese people were terrible. The way the Japanese treated the Chinese, the way the Chinese suffered, people were dying on the street every night. Uh, there were corpses on the streets. In the morning, they were collected and taken away. The hardships that the poor Chinese people had to suffer was terrible. And then, a lot of it had changed in 1974. That was some uh, 70 years later uh, that um, I returned. And things had improved tremendously. People were dressed. Uh, better. They were reasonably well fed. There wasn't this extreme poverty. So a lot of change. And then later on, of course, the changes to Shanghai itself, the buildings and everything, just it makes your mind boggle at what the Chinese have done since uh, I left there in 1947. Marks the 70th uh, anniversary of the end of the World War II and the anti-fascist war. So, as a survivor, what would you like to tell the Chinese people, the Jewish people, or maybe the, the Japanese about the war, about the, your suffering, about what you've seen, experienced? No. The last thing, the Japanese, I think they should admit the atrocities that had been committed in China. That's the first thing. 70 years, I just can't believe that so much time has passed. Um, as I said, I and my family are most grateful for having been able to find a haven, refuge in China during the war, which saved our lives. And. Uh, the changes that have been made in China are just mind-boggling, absolutely mind-boggling. Whilst it's now uh, nine years since I've last been there, um, I've been following documentaries on China, and it's just unbelievable. They are very diligent and intelligent people, and I must say, there's a lot of... Um, uh, commonality between the Chinese and Jews. We both have got ancient civilizations. Um, we are both very family-minded. Family is everything. We are very education-conscious. What you get in your mind, you can't take away. So you've got to try and educate yourself. That is very important. So there's a lot in common that we share with the Chinese people. And I love them.